soon. We finally did it. Okay, good. So now all that stuff is finally. safe. The pro project of fitting the boobs. I enjoy working for PJ and with his dad. They are good people and there are not many of those around. And I would rather be part of a team where I feel like I'm accomplishing something, where I'm working with people that I also trust, that I genuinely like. It just gives you an extra drive and an extra motivation to go to work every day. Now, my feelings towards it are we got raided by the FDA. Nobody's buying us anytime soon. So I have a much more long-term vision. And now through all the growth and changes that we've been through, even though this is a very stressful industry, I've changed it into a way where I can mold it into something that I love more than anything. Because there's a lot more that I love than just supplements. I love training people, I love bodybuilding, I love guns, I love cars, and I've incorporated all, even all the weird animal stuff into the Blackstone Labs marketing. So why would I want to stop doing all the stuff that I love every day? And so each day, even though my days are really, really hard, they're fun as f and I love it. And my staff, we have so much fun. And so now I look at it, as I've told a lot of the guys that have been with me for four or five years, is that I don't know about you guys, but I'm planning on doing this into my 50s and 60s, and they feel the same way. So we all have that vision of keeping this going forever. Can we set something up where you look at everything that I have? That'd be great. I make it easier, I think. Mm -hmm. And then, and then take out stuff that yeah. we don't want. Yeah, I have stuff that I, I have some of my stuff I never wear. Like some of the stuff, I bought, wore once, yeah. and wore it for, for the look, and then I didn't want to not liking the look. Like I have a purple suit. You know, as his dad, I always tell him like, you know, you got to worry about yourself first because you can't, you can't help everybody if you can't help yourself. But he, he, he makes it work out. You know, he's very, very hardworking. Uh, he's very dedicated into Blackstone. <laughs> he gives it his all for sure. Sure, you know, without the jacket as well. Very nice. Um, when you do your pocket squares, I want you to fold them so that you're only showing a little, little sliver. Okay. okay? I'll take a video and I'll just send it to okay. you. And then when you tuck it in, you're just showing a little sliver. I, okay. I can never like figure out what the right like look is for the. So I like squares. just the, the sort of that look. Um, There's this guy. I forget his name. He's like a YouTube guy. Okay. And he's like, he does like six, six looks for pocket squares. And he's like, so he hates the straight look. Okay. Um, I do like the straight look and it's, it's easy. Yeah. And I have he always thinks that he can make it work out. So he's a very, like, if he has a decision, he's determined to make it work. And he follows through. He's got a big heart. So he, you know, takes care of a lot of people while he's doing it. Um, I hope they appreciate all that. He puts a lot of people in front of him before he makes decisions that would be beneficial to him. So he's, you know, got a very big heart. The ball because of that silk in there. Okay, ready? Love. Oh, yeah. What do you think? And then I made this time. <laughs> so, so now are you a little bit confused? No. You're not? Because why are we really here, guys? You don't know what? He has no clue. Oh, man. Oh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, you happy birthday. Birthday. tried to sneak away from us yesterday. I made <laughs> sure that everyone did not say happy birthday to you on purpose. Me and him have been working on this since last week. And the guys from Generation Iron thought it was an idea. So they wanted us to get us scamming you this entire day. It's actually dedicated to your birthday. This is just the beginning of it. You're not getting out of it. The bodybuilding industry is not what I thought it would be at all. I thought it was going to be very vain and dishonest and illusiony. So I ended up really warming up to the industry as a whole, warming up to the people I worked with. I don't think that at all. Adrenaline is f***ing pumping for you. That was 
Excuse well my played. language. Holy <laughs> Do we have this whole room? Yes. Oh, sweet. So in the future, you can get this, this whole room. Awesome. We're gonna do a quick safety brief. Muzzle is always pointed in a safe direction. Keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire. Treat every gun like it's a loaded gun. We are not walking behind this line with the weapon. Keep the weapon pointed downrange at all times. You're gonna be shooting machine guns now. So this is serious, right? You're gonna, we're gonna start off slow and work our way up. You don't wanna get in there and start doing mag dumps because you run the risk of shooting the ceiling. Oh, I'm fine here. That just makes you you makes you feel like you're better than you are. Yeah. <laughs> By possibly Clay, because oh, no. David goes. Clay I'm just, just kidding. He, he goes. Clay just yelled out, "He's here." He was surprised with the other stuff today, though. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm in town, we, we always do Grimace Friday. I've been doing it for years. And this one was a little bit rushed because I knew I didn't have as much time. Usually I'll grill from like 11 to four or five. And so I told everybody, we are gonna still do Grill Master Friday. To your girlfriends, to your friends, whoever wants to come, it's gonna be 12 to two, that's it. And I just stay over the grill and I cook all day. And I, it, the funny thing is I usually don't eat. Um, but it's it's actually, a it's Friday is such a low key day that it's a good, fun thing to do, but it's, for me, that day is, is actually really tiring because it's hot as hell in Florida anyway, and being over the grill, that hot ass grill, I keep the heat real high so I can cook everything faster. So I'm usually like pouring sweat the whole time, like burning up out there. And when it's done, I'm usually exhausted. Um, but I love doing it because everyone, you know, we have a lot of athletes in the area that come and hang out. Some of them, I don't even really see, like, like they get into their little circles and clicks and they, they talk and they hang out. But it's, it's a good way to bring everybody together. It's like, I don't understand why people just keep chasing a check. You'd even say to other people that I was just in the room for me and realized that relationships are worth more than dollars. Uh, I, I know we'll survive. So we have great owners and great staff. Obviously, we're all loyal and we'll, we'll make it work. You know, no matter what, I feel like I'm going to have Blackstone's back and Blackstone's going to have my back. And I think about all the things that I've created and I have so much passion for the things that I've created, whether it be businesses or whether it be like these little baby lives of these lizards that have grown into adults. Like I have so much passion in the, in the actual creation part. So if you actually created something yourself, like how could you not be involved in it? My brain can't understand it. So for me, I know that it's in me to do that the way that I, I never got, you know? And so when I can do it, you know, to whatever degree I'm doing it for these different guys, I feel like I must, it's very important to me that my dad, so my dad made me obsessed with being good and I'm still, I, I question myself if I am good or not. And so if these guys think that way about me, then I must be doing pretty good. And that is like a way of validating myself. And so that's like super important to me. And uh, I, a lot of people say these things about me and I don't know if it's still enough, but like when they say it, it makes me feel really proud. Like I must be a, a pretty good guy if these guys that I care about feel that way.